There were lineups south of the border today, too, not to shop, but to buy tickets for the second largest lotto jackpot in American history. $550 million is up for grabs in the Powerball lottery. The odds are ridiculously bad, but as Christina Stevens discovered, that didn't stop lots of Canadians from driving down with their fingers crossed. Canadians Hank Bangild and Marcel Gingras are men on a mission in Buffalo. The winning one, okay? Getting their tickets for the massive Powerball lottery. It's quite insane, actually, uh, because, I mean, regular people, what on earth are they going to do with $500 million? I go nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have lots of friends. I'll probably have to go hide somewhere. First call would probably be to some kind of an agency that supplied bodyguards. And, and then the list of your family members will quadruple. and one free. Countless Canadians have been heading stateside to get a piece of the action. I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably pass out and it'd take a while to sink in that I've won that much money, but uh, it'd be awesome. No one has won the Powerball since October 6th. Since then, the jackpot has been growing, growing, and growing. One Powerball, please. By yesterday, it was at the half a billion dollar mark and rising. People started lining up at stores across the U.S. to buy into the dream. And dream it is. The chances of actually winning are pegged at 175 million to one. You have better odds of becoming an astronaut, getting an Academy Award, or finding a four-leaf clover. The chances of winning are astronomically tiny. Uh, but when I spend the $2 on the ticket, then I'm going to go spend 20 minutes fantasizing about what I would do with, uh, with that money. And that's an enjoyable 20 minutes for me. It's the second largest U.S. lottery jackpot ever. The biggest was $656 million. But Bangled and Gingress figure this payout would do nicely. I could stand on a street corner and hand a $100 bill yeah. for the rest of my life. Uh, yeah, and, and never run out. That's true. <laughs> Christina Stevens, Global News, Buffalo, New York.